So I'm sure we are all very familiar with this, but here is an issue where my hang on back filter or hang off the back filter, if you like to say it that way, is of course not running very efficiently. There's like a bazillion shrimp in here, so I have a sponge on the filter intake. The water level is down. It is slowly refilling. I have two buckets of water. A little schmutz at the bottom there, but what else? Um, waiting. And this is what we do. We go, get off. Get off, you shrimps. Get off of there. Get it out, quickly flap it in there, and do this one handed because I'm using my phone as a camera. I've heard people refer to this as chocolate milk. I like to call it poo poo water <laughs> uh, or plant food. Very valuable plant food. Um, this stuff is what makes tomatoes grow really, really well. Now, as you can see, yeah, you can't see in there. Now, do I put it back in right away? No. <laughs> Look at how much more is in there. Now, sometimes, sometimes, I hear people say that they take it and then they gently swish it in the water. I will tell you right now, that does nothing. That does not help you. All that does is add to a bunch of frustration that does not actually squeeze out the sponge. Now I know, once again, this is not a new phenomenon at all. Bring it out really good. It's just one sponge, so it's okay that it's actually dried out. I'm not trying any of that stuff with a trying to get it out with a plastic bag or anything like that um, because then I would end up I mean you saw all the shrimp that were on here I would have ended up bagging up all the shrimp um, and so this is not a commercially produced one because I am cheap And so it's a little bit harder to squish it back on. All it is is um, you can go to like Amazon or wherever it is you like to buy things. <clears throat> like random stuff. And I looked for uh, uh, sheets of two inch or what would that be? Like five centimeter open cell foam. You want to find the most porous or coarse open cell foam that you can find. Well, maybe not, not the most, but middle. Especially with shrimp. Middle, middle amount of porous is good. Um, if it's too fine, you'll be squeezing it out every single day. And you're going to lose your mind. <laughs> you're just... You're just gonna lose your dang mind. Um, and then I take a knife. Whatever your knife of choice is. Mine is this one. It's just a little knife. This knife is very handy. I use it to cut the pashi. Um, not for all of my plecos and everything. 
<laughs> uh, and I, I just like stab through the center and just kind of cut it. Just make sure you can tear it a little bit with your fingers. It's not like a super strong substance, this uh, open cell phone stuff. Until you can shove it on the end of your uh, uh, intake pipe. And that is how you do maintenance. Gentle swishing? No, this is going to do nothing. If you have any kind of a load on your tank, like if you feed fish at all, <laughs> like if you have any kind of critters or anything that makes any sort of waste um, or plants or anything, you're doing anything other than just moving plain clear water around, yeah, you're definitely going to want to squeeze it out. Like squeeze the, the guck out of your sponges. Make poo-poo water. and then put it back on. If I had only done the one, all that poo-poo would have ended up in the tank because it would have been loose, loosened. Anyway, it was just kind of a, it's just one of those things where you, you know, you like see something all the time and I decided they would just address it. That's how you do it. You just pull it off, squeeze it out, squeeze it out again, put it back on. Have a great day. Bye.